here's a fancy one that you get in interviews sometimes. You get asked to explain what is the top-down design approach when it comes to software, apps, websites, anything like that. Well, it's really, really simple, believe it or not. We start at the top, and at the top we have software, app, whatever it is. We have a complete product, in other words. Once we step down another level, we can split that product into things like the graphical user interface, the business logic, which transforms data, and the data sources, which is where the data comes from. So you get the data, you transform it, and then you display it. That's basic software in all of its forms, really. You can further split those down into individual elements. So for example, the GUI will have things like button, text, and various related GUI items. And they will all be very similar throughout the app because you'll have a theme. Okay, so you can break it down into, let's say, a class of buttons that spread throughout your app. Your business logic, you would break down into logical transformations. So let's say you need to show the date time. You might want to change your server's date time format into a human readable one. So you'd have a function for date time somewhere. You'd also have other functions to do business logic, like if this, then that. That's what IFTTT stands for. And if you search for that, there's lots of Google references to it. Uh, you might have something like a view model, which feeds the graphical user interface with the data to display. And then moving on to data sources, you'd have something like a database store, RoomDB in Android, SQLite in iOS and Windows, or uh, what you call it, core data in iOS, but I wouldn't touch that. I'd stick with SQLite top tip. You'd also have things like servers that you are making calls to that provide data back to the app. So this whole picture together defines the top-down design approach. We break the software into logical elements. We break those elements into logical elements, and we keep breaking them down until all those elements fit neatly in a class. And that is the root of a name, of the name class. It is a class of objects and functions that sit logically together. So that is the top-down design approach. Now, in an interview, when they ask you that, you don't have to run them through this. You simply have to say the top-down design approach is where we break software into its most fundamental component parts so we can work on those component parts and eventually bring them back together to make software. And of course, the advantage is nothing talks cross purposes. So in programming, we never want things to talk across each other. We want them to always, always be separate. And it allows you to split the work up into teams. So I would be fine with data and business, but I'm not so hot on the graphical user interface. There are people better than me. So we would give that to them and say, hey, design something wizzy. I'll do all the code in the back end. So that's it. That's the top down design approach.